As the world enters into new era of commercialization, with everything being made is being made available to everyone, packaging has become a necessity of the modern times. Be it safe delivery of goods from distant areas to the remotest places, packaging in today's time is a multifaceted phenomenon. However, the packaging brings a big question to India's sustainability goal and environmental threat, specifically sustainability production and consumption. The major problem is unsustainable plastic consumption. In the same line, Ball Corporation and Aluminium Beverage Packaging MNC with Association of Dairy, the Energy and Resource Institute held a seminar in the presence of Sri Sanjay Bhusedi, ACS Excise and Sugar, and Sri Ashish Tiwari, Secretary Ministry of Environmental and Forest. In luck. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, I would like to uh, no, along with eminent other beer industry experts. In the event, Terry has presented on the comparative study to find out the most sustainable beverage packaging option out of aluminium cans, pet bottles, glass bottles, and MLP cartons. So, the entire project was uh, basically identify and map the various life cycle stages of various uh, substrates. So when we say life cycle stages, it's like cradle to grave to cradle. So it's not like a product and the materials which are going into manufacturing that particular product, but we are also taking into consideration that what the fate of that particular product going to be after it reaches the end of life. India and here we have included uh, uh, included uh, glass, PET, multi-level, uh, multi-layer uh, cartons, which is tetra pack kind of packaging and aluminium. So globally, uh, packaging industry is growing because of rapid urbanization. There is a good amount of spending power. The organized retail has uh, has come up well. And at the same time, what we are seeing is uh, uh, there is also a good emergence, not only at government level, but also at consumer level, where we are seeing that the consumer wants to make those choices, which are, which are sustainable and conscious choices towards contributing towards the environment. But what we thought was, there is a lack of information or there is not enough information for the consumers and different stakeholders so that they can make an informed choice about their beverage and their packaging. And uh, we, there is, according to a global survey, we saw that 83% of the respondents said that all the companies or all the organizations should design a product which is either recyclable or reusable. And on uh, sourcing and using the... Uh, the took a discussion as to how aluminium is infinitely recyclable and has highly recycled content. It is also said that there is a help needed to redevelop and redefine the way packaging is done traditionally, especially in India where it will be a scene under the green development lens. That UP has become the first state to sell a foreign made liquor in aluminium cans instead of the glass bottles. So it's a, it's a very a welcome move. And uh, the excise policy released in 2020 has significant implications on the environment. We quite often talk about the incentive mechanism. So this is a very good example of how uh, uh, financial incentive or fiscal incentive is actually uh, or helping like a sustainable product or penetrating the Indian market. Coming from a government department, I would congratulate. Perry and the Bar Corporation also. The issue of kind of sustainability and beverage, beverage by energy consumption in production, then probably the aluminium packaging, cans, etc., they have six fold more energy consumption up front. So, supposing then if you take into account the recyclability of the aluminium cans, then probably the energy consumption will come at par with plastic bottles. Life has come in a circular way and a very good circularity study has been done by Terry. I have been associated with Terry in various in my positions. Today, when I am standing before you, I am one of the biggest users, I mean, my department of excise and also in a way sugarcane industry for packaging of sugar. Nowadays we are also thinking of packaging of fresh sugarcane juice. Now as an excise, uh, head of the excise department, we are facing a lot of problems on the packaging issue. I am not directly concerned with the economics, with the sustainability and so on and so forth. But I get into it 
because I need a packaging solution which cannot be tampered with because portable alcohol whether it's whiskey, rum, brandy, gin, beer or wine or country liquor or nowadays since last two years we have started a portable alcohol which is between foreign liquor and country liquor which is grain based. How do we do packaging which is tamper proof? In UP the consumer does not prefer glass bottle. See how does the whole thing plays out? The consumer preference in a neighboring state is a beer bottle. He loves a beer bottle. But in UP they love a beer can. So that's the difference. Even in our whole country, neighboring states, consumers behaving differently. I would like that even if that is taken into account. Because there are many aspects which you have taken the life cycle, the recyclability, the environmental impact, the cost of it, the economics of it, then how does it affect the overall uh, environment? The entire figure, only 25% waste is actually recycled. 25%. That's a figure for US. If you go to uh, West Virginia or Oklahoma, the rate of recycling is very, very poor. We are having uh, our own things or working with the local partners. Mr. Manish Joshi, Director of Sales and Marketing of Ball Corporation, thanked everyone for having a valuable discussion and making this event successful. We have failed. There was hardly one can like.